It's the NFL on EA Sports. And this one features Josie Jewell. He put up numbers last week with a nine-tackle performance. It's the Broncos and the Jets next on Madden NFL 24. We find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Today, we've got a Week 5 matchup in store here, as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Denver Broncos. And hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at this Bronco team. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they... First play, and Wilson wants to throw it. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. From the 25, here's second and six. Throwing is Wilson. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. When you talk about this Jets defense, they're a top five unit right now against the pass in the league. In fact, they sit at number five. And since this is such a good unit of covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typical of what we might. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. The leading... Now the second-year man back from injury. It's Brees Hall. We take a look at his numbers on the ground last week. Pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. Ryan. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. The Jets had two and two through the first four weeks of the season. And they come in losers of two straight, so try to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around. I expect them to play really well here. This second and four. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. To throw is Ryan. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Jets first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Holding offense. Oh. And that's on big Makai Becton, first round pick in 2020. Back to the ground with Hall. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. This defense for the Broncos, they put together a strong effort last week in the win over Chicago. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. 
They'll run with Carter. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. On third and goal, Ryan. And he's unable to haul it in, so it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field, and that brings up fourth. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Zerline's kick is up and through. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. And these guys definitely... Now a late signee let go by Minnesota in June. It's Dalvin Cook. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. The numbers a week ago for Cook. 14 carries, 52 yards. I can't remember the last time we did a game and a coach didn't talk about establishing the run first, but they've lost two straight games, so they still want to do that, but they've got to have some contingencies, some other options. Expect them maybe to throw it a little bit to open up things and maybe run it a little bit more later in the game. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now it's Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So for this defense, a tall order had tried to defend against Russell Wilson. Charles, your keys for how they might go about keeping him in check? Well, before we even get to the keys, let's start with the problems he presents because he feels pressure so well. He's got a great sixth sense maybe even a seventh and eight. He knows where the pressure's coming from. He knows how to slide away from it, sometimes run away from it, and then he finds good throwing lanes to deliver downfield. So to me, it's that pressure inside, big, tall guys, to make him try and throw over them and make his height work against him. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back, and he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Third and three. Now Wilson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. So in jet territory now. Here's first and ten at the 49-yard line. Wilson. This one complete to Jerry Judy. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. From the 42-yard line, here's second and three. From the gun, it's again to Cook. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. It's now third down and four. To throw is Wilson. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Carl Lawson able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed. They'll start on the ground. Hall. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane.
game that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter. Second and eight coming from the 19. As they've got it as we resume action. Hall again on second down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Here now a third down and eight. Now it's Ryan. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. That was a chance for the breakthrough. He's got a man running free, and you've got to be able to put that on it. But instead, let it too far incomplete. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. That's returnable now for Smith. It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And the Broncos take over. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Out quickly to Judy. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. On first down, Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They'll try the wide side with Cook. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Room to maneuver at the 35. And he takes it all the way down to the 22. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. There's Wilson to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say it was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The Broncos on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. Wilson. That is caught. Touchdown. Colin Sutton, his second touchdown on the season. And the Broncos have taken the lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as a wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Done good with the extra point. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to boot it away, Riley Dixon. Taylor now from the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Now Hall to start the drive. Oh, good move. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Ball on the 27. Here's a second and five. Here's Ryan to throw. He dumps this one off here to Hall. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. He's got his target. That's complete. And they worked it.
is well upfield across the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. On first and ten, it's home. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But just step. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from starting out. And a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. Denver's offense now set to go. A man who was lost for the year in week four last season. Here's Javante Williams. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven at the five-yard line. Now it's Wilson. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. On third down, Wilson. And this pass broken up. The contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Jets will take over. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Off the play fake. Here's Ryan. They're able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. Cockle's first season in New York saw him match his production from Minnesota almost to the number. And the Jets, they will happily continue to take those numbers as he delivers again with a first down. Now Ryan on first down. He completes it to Wilson. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Brings up second and five at the 31-yard line. Now Ryan. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Again, Ryan. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And he is going to have a Jets first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first down, Ryan. Open man here is Conklin. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10.
They go play action now. Ryan to the goal line, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Ryan will throw again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Simple drag route here, lined up out and left, and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape, and that is not going to get it done. They'll try and throw for him with Ryan. He's got Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab, and the Jets will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown of the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead is now 10 to 7. A 10-play drive that time. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. Out of the end zone comes Smith. The Broncos going to go on offense now late in this first half. With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they... Now Wilson on first down. They're looking for Judy, but it's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. And After the interception, here's Ryan. He's got Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Jets will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And now to give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Zerline good with a PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This take it in at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Broncos going to get one more possession in this first half. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the... And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Making the play defensively, Carl Lawson. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman. And seven to score as we get back to it on EA Sports. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. So here are the Jets now to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Play action. It's Ryan. Completes it to Hardman. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Second and six. At the 29-yard line. Now Ryan. 
He finds Corey Davis. It'll go as a gain of four. And now that sets up third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run with Hall. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward to get the first down. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. 38-yard line, second and nine. Here's Ryan. And check down complete to Hall. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That's too early to figure out what kind of adjustments this defense made at halftime, but that's a good start to the second half. They can now afford to give up more points and fall further behind, so well done to force the punting situation here. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first Try to fire up that running game with Dalvin Cook. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. Here's second and seven. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the 20-yard line. Now Wilson. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. So one quick, easy analysis about why they struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. It's third and long now for Wilson and the Broncos after that sack. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. That's exactly what they were aiming for defensively. A huge early play that cuts off any opposing momentum at the knees. As soon as that snap was made, they were flying to the ball and through the line. Great call from the coaching staff and even better execution. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football. And here's the free kick. Returnable here for Davis. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. On first and 10, it's Ryan. A quick throw, but incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm confused. is just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Ryan. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Here's Thomas Morstead now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. A seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And they will take over first and 10. And Denver getting set to take the field. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. This will be caught, Judy. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Keep it. 
I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Second down, they go right back to Cook. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. On first down, Wilson. On the slant, completes to Sutton. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Two yards to go, second down. Now it's Wilson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to him. Other times you add extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. It's been a variety, and they've had no way of blocking them. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. And the Jets' defense making things difficult there. Fourth down. But the passing windows are just not there, and that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top-10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Following the field goal on is Riley Dixon to kick this one away. On the return, it's Taylor from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The New York. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. Finding Hardman here over the middle. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Ryan. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. On first down, right back to Hall. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Third and two, now Ryan. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. Chris Wormley in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on for the fifth time here today. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. It'll be a pickup of four, and it winds us down to the end of the third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. 
It's the Broncos trailing, but they do have possession of the football as we begin quarter number four. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50%. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. So they take over not only in enemy territory, but in the red zone at the 16-yard line. And a defensive-minded coach loves to turn up the heat, turns it up there, it pays off. And back in the good old days, those defensive-minded coaches just talked about intimidating teams, using force, right, beating them to the punch. In this case, they talk about creating turnovers. That's all they preach, all game long, all practice long, every meeting, get the football. That's what they want. Uh, give to Hall running right. He's down inside the 10 to the 8. And it comes on a gain of eight. Ball again on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Ryan now to throw on third down. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. So on now is Greg Zerline in a pressure situation. This is a 26-yard attempt. Zerline's kick is up and through. And that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. But right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receiver. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? And any... They'll throw on first down with Ryan. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. Brings up second and three at the 15-yard line. Here's Ryan. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. And the Broncos are right back in this football game. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on it and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. So the Broncos coming out now. The interception was a great start. After the interception, here's Wilson. He'll dump this off to Cook. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Here's a second and five. From the gun, it's Wilson. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So a P.I. call going to cost them there defensively. What did you see? Well, I think it's the right call, partner, because sometimes we'll see officials kind of let them play. 
but by the letter of the law, that's definitely a penalty. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Here's Wilson. Got a man open. It's Sutton. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And Cook was fighting for it, but I don't think he got there. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Running for it. Here's Cook. Going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. Talvin Cook turned away on fourth down. And the Jets are going to get the football here in great field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drives first. On second down, here's Ryan. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. A well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. Chris Wormley picks up his second sack of the afternoon. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead. And thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. They'll right, get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. Denver's offense ready to go again. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points. Now Wilson on first down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Second and ten now, Wilson. Finding the open man, and that's Tim Patrick. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That's good for our Denver Broncos. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. On first and 10, it's Wilson. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Bryce Hall. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Partner's bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. New York ready to go again offensively. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the... After the interception, here's Ryan. Garrett Wilson, and all the way in, touchdown, New York. Garrett Wilson, 36 yards. And the Jets look like they're about to put an end to their two-game losing streak as they add on to their lead. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D., and well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, 
it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense. He made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. And Smith not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. Denver's offense now set to go. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this one is incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Play action. It's Wilson. Open man downfield is Judy. He's got it. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Throwing now. Wilson on first down. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Now Wilson on second down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Bryce Hall. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. But once again, here comes Garrett Wilson in the Jets' offense. Oh, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Hall on a give up the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Good gain there on first down. It keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him, ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Ball again on second down. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. 63 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Ball again. This carry, despite the extra effort, will be stopped short of the 10. It's Kareem Jackson making the play defensively. Now second and nine. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Delay of game. Awesome. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still second down. On second down, a run with Hall. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Give him four on the carry there, but that only takes him back to where they started. Third and ten. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there,